real quick, be sure to take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com where you'll get access to the full tutorial, but you'll also get project downloads. By working along with the video, you'll greatly accelerate your learning. So enjoy your video and we'll see you at woodproacademy.com. So now with, with all of my kitchen types and vanity types marked up, measured, I've got a lot of data in here that I can organize in various ways. Um, you know, my tools were separated by vanities versus kitchens. That's interesting to look at. My uh, pricing subjects, I can look at just field joints, just finished ends and all that. That, that information is kind of useless if you don't know how many of the types there are. And that's where we're going to transfer this into our spreadsheet and let the spreadsheet do all that math for us. So let's sort by the subject column. Then I'm going to apply a filter. And I'm going to select just the K1 kitchen types. Okay. Now here's my data just for K1, just my markups for K1. If I collapse it and I look here at this measurements column there, it has all the information that needs to go into my spreadsheet. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet. All right. This is type K1, so I'm looking at this row of information here. We've got uh, 46 square feet of countertop, 15 lineal feet of splash, four finished ends, two filled joints, one notch, one sink, and a corner condition. Okay, And now these cells here are going to take this information times the number of these kitchens there are and fill all this out. It'll do that math for us. It'll also come up with the sums down below. So what I want to do is back here, I just want to go down my list of kitchen types and fill in accordingly. Then vanities on down the list until I get all of my data transferred over. Now finishing up after I've double check triple checked everything and i'm happy with my data i can transfer these totals over to my settings tab which i've already done and you know again the the what i call the money columns are hidden the count and money columns are hidden um, but our description and our totals we'll transfer over to our estimate. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this series of tutorials. More importantly, I hope you're feeling much more confident about Bluebeam and Excel. And I hope you find your own ways to incorporate this into your day-to-day -day, uh, operations. Please give us feedback. You know, if there's anything you're struggling with, I, yeah, I want to help you. Uh, if there's something you're struggling with Bluebeam or Excel that has nothing to do with these t tutorials, let us know. That could be our next set of, tu of uh, tutorials. Who knows? So please keep in touch. Please give us feedback. We want to hear from you. Make sure you sign up for the emails. Keep an eye on your, on your inbox for news about the next set of tutorials. And thank you for hanging in there with me for this long and I'll, I'll see you soon. We hope you benefited from that quick tutorial. Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. And if you haven't already, be sure to go to woodproacademy.com, sign up where you can get access to this full tutorial and many more, plus you'll get the project downloads.